Hey everybody, thank you so, so much for tuning in. Today's video is an all Dollar Tree mug holder. Now I know I've made a mug holder on this channel not too long ago, but that one was wall mounted. So I feel like this one would be so convenient for people who don't have a lot of wall space in their kitchen. It fits nicely on a countertop, doesn't take up a lot of space. And the best thing is this is only about $3. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoy this video and stick around by subscribing to this channel. Once you hit that subscribe button, we instantly become best friends. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know every time I post a video, hit that like button because you like this. And let's go ahead and get started. For this project, I'm gonna be using one box of the Dollar Tree Jengas. Not all the Jenga pieces will be used, but you can also avoid this step by using a circle plaque from Walmart, which I got for 97 cents, or a scrap piece of wood. So I'm going to be using this angle square just basically to keep everything in order and this Gorilla wood glue. So I'm going to set up all of my Jenga pieces and figure out how wide and how big I want my base to be. And I figured that I wanted everything to be three rows of eight Jenga pieces. So to attach them together, I'm just going to add a generous amount of the Gorilla Wood Glue to both sides and start pushing them up against my angler. And as you can see, some of it is going to be pushing out and that's okay. Just continue to work neatly and making sure that everything is being attached. In other words, making sure that you're adding glue to the sides so that everything is nice and secure when you're done. So as you can see, this is helping me keep everything leveled and straight. Now you can add as many Jenga pieces or as many layers as you want, but make sure that it dries really well before moving on. So for the top piece, I'm gonna be using this rolling pin from Dollar Tree, and I'm also gonna be using these hooks, which I found for 97 cents at Walmart. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a drill bit that's just a tiny bit smaller, and I'm gonna start adding my holes. And the first hole I'm gonna add is right at the very top. And this is gonna be able to fit four mugs, four regular size mugs. So I'm going to test this out and add one of my hooks to make sure that it fits. So it is giving me a little bit of trouble to screw in, which is a really good thing because that means that this is gonna be nice and secure. So before I move on, I am gonna check where my mug is going to be sitting and I'm gonna add another hook right here and one at the bottom. So I am gonna mark it so that it's not too high up and not running into the mug above that. I also didn't align them perfectly. I didn't want them right next to each other because I didn't want the screws to actually end up touching. So I did do one a little bit higher than the other. So now I'm removing my hook and as you can see this one, I'm gonna just do a little bit lower so the screws do not touch and I'm going to make my hole. And I'm not gonna go in too deep, just enough to where I can screw in the hooks. So now I'm going to work on my two bottom holes. So now that I have all four holes, I'm gonna move on to my base. Right on the fourth and fifth Jenga piece, right in the middle, I'm going to take my rolling pin, add some wood glue, and then place it right in the middle of that. I'm gonna let it dry really well overnight the next day, you can tell that it is super duper sturdy. I shook it around and banged it on my desk a bit, but I still wanna give it some added security since glass mugs are gonna go on this. So I am gonna grab a nail from the Dollar Tree kit. I was gonna use the screw, but I ended up using the nail instead. And right where those Jenga pieces are, the fourth and fifth piece, right in the middle of that is where I am going to nail this down. So you can use a screw as long as it's flat so that it doesn't cause a bump at the bottom, but the screws that were in that kit were really, really short, so I felt like this was a lot better. So I made sure that it was perfectly straight as I was nailing down so that it doesn't cause any kind of shifting at all when you take off the mugs. 
So now you can add some furniture pads if you want or anything to the bottom. But I am going to go ahead and stain this. You can leave it as is, but before I stain, I'm going to be using this block from Dollar Tree and I'm going to sand it down because I know a lot of the wood glue got onto this and wood glue unfortunately doesn't stain well so I am sanding everything down and just so it looks a little bit better. Now I'm going to stain the whole thing with dark walnut from Minwax and this is what I use for everything and if you don't want to stain it you can of course keep it as is or paint it if you don't have a stain you can always just get brown paint and water it down a bit it works just as well for projects like this make sure that you keep a rag or a paper towel around so that you can wipe off any excess stain just so everything is like nice and even but honestly i just kind of let it dry as is because i wanted mine to be really really dark once it's completely dry you can start screwing on your hooks and you can add some sort of adhesive if you want but for me i thought this was enough it had a really good grip and i felt like it was going to hold the mugs securely so as you can see they're not perfectly leveled because i didn't want the hooks to touch on the inside and now i'm going to add the bottom ones as well And the same thing goes for the bottom ones. They're not perfectly leveled because I wanted everything to not touch on the inside. So that's it. Now you can put your favorite mugs on this and bam, you have a $3 mug holder. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and thank you so, so much for watching. Till next time.